and Janistine, we are still talking about Maria. Uh, and it's still gigantic. It is gigantic. It's a little sloppy here because it's being attacked by the upper level winds. We like that. We want it to weaken. Still, though, a major hurricane east of the Turks and Caicos. They could feel at least tropical storm force winds, some heavy rain, and some storm surge. But the computer models over the next, let's say, 24 to 48 hours are in good agreement that it's going to come east of the Bahamas. What comes after that, we're still a little unsure of. Uh, each round of computer models shows sort of a different outcome. So as we go further out in time, we think it's going to move between Bermuda and Hatteras. But look what happens near the end of this. The cone gets very big, and it actually kind of curves towards the northeast. We do not want that. So we're going to have to watch it. It really is a battle between two areas of high pressure. Which one will win out? Uh, will this storm move out to sea? We're going to have to wait and see. Here's the Euro, again, coming close to the east of the Bahamas. This one gets close to Hatteras and then scoots off to the north and east. But again, anywhere past five days, a little uncertainty, so we will have to watch. The one thing is for certain, we are way ahead in terms of average. So far, 13 storms, NOAA predicted 14 to 19. Seven hurricanes, four major hurricanes. The average is three, and we still have a couple months to go in hurricane season. We're still in the peak season. We'll watch Maria. Behind Maria, it's pretty quiet. So at least for the next week or so, it's a little bit calmer. Good enough. Till about Thanksgiving, right? November 30th is official, but you can have yeah. hurricanes in the Atlantic really any time of the year. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh,